Nice to have you with us. Living the perfect Instagram life. 
So she's putting forward all of the things that she thinks that people want to hear and want to see, as probably most people can relate to. And so that's like a little bit of the fun cat and mouse game that she plays within herself, like which one of these is the real me. But I think it's a fun character to try to anticipate, which is what I think we were trying to do with the ending. So we changed the ending from the book right. to the movie. No, but you can leave me back because that was a wet, so wet and gutter wreck. There's a lot of trauma in, in her yeah. past yeah. that she has to confront that sort of defines her life and defines her yeah. future relationships. Do you like playing a, a character who's got all that depth? Yeah. Do I give you a real answer? I give you the answer that I think people want to hear. And the real one? The real one is no. Like, it's all fun. Like, I really genuinely look at acting as play pretend. The other answer I can give you is yes, this was really hard for me and it was emotionally draining and I'm such a great actor. I, I can go answer that I think I'm supposed to give, but the truth is, I love paper time. There's a part of you that at the end of the day is exhausting. But that being said, I can separate the two pretty well. So as hard as it is, I'm not in a ditch, I'm not in a mine, I'm not, I'm okay. Like, it's not that hard. Born in the former Soviet Union, in the modern day Ukraine, Kuk's family moved to the United States with just $250 when she was seven years old, eventually settling in Los Angeles. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine this off. year, Kunis and Kutcher rallied to raise more than $30 million for refugees from her home country. Our collective effort will provide a softer landing for so many people as they forge ahead into their future of uncertainty. This war hit, and I was like, I am not Russian. I am from Ukraine. I have more pride now than I ever have about being from Ukraine. As a young girl suddenly moved halfway around the world, Kunis learned English by watching American TV and taking acting classes, which led to roles in commercials and on television. I played two different characters on Baywatch. Wow, and they're just hoping nobody noticed. Characters. No one noticed. It was television 30, 27 years ago. Yeah. Audiences started to notice Kunis when she landed the role of Jackie Burkhart on the Fox hit That 70s Show. You are a dog, my blood, dirty, dirty dog! It was there she met Kutcher, though the friends and co stars did not date until more than a decade later, marrying in 2015. In 2018, I asked Kunis about acting with Kutcher again. How are you not going to no. stop it? No, like, no, it's weird. But after some recent spousal negotiations, Did you really mean it? the pair decided to reprise their roles for an episode of the upcoming series, That 90s Show. Any hesitation or like, let's go do it? Honestly, there was a little hesitation. There was? From one of us. I will not say which one. We're to together, we're, we're spoiler playing a married couple in it. I've never been more nervous in my life really? than the day. Now why? Oh my god, because it's my husband. It was so mm. weird to look at him and not be like, why are you doing that funny face? Or for him not to look at me and be like, why are you acting so Like there's a part of you that after being dead, you can call BS on someone. Yeah. It's trippy because we were in the same house, like the, the you know, stage. And it takes place in the same basement. But we're old and married and have children. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. It was like being in Twilight Zone. It was very, very weird. Oh, thank you. What a gentleman. Uh, I don't know what I need to do. A shot after this or kiss my wife. Actions training for the New York City Marathon. Having done this last year, I know that it puts some strain on the partner in the relationship. Thank you for understanding. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for feeling my feelings okay. with me. But, okay, all jokes aside, it's been actually really great. Yeah. Lots of things with the running that I learned. Nipples. Oh, oh, the chafing. Yeah. The so my husband, okay, I have an almost six year old and an almost eight year old. My husband goes to me after like three months of training or two, whatever it is, and goes, he said, do you, you got to get that nipple cream for when he's a nurse? And I was like, Oh used to nurse. I was like, we have big children. Do you have like any like nipple cream? And I was like, no, I don't have random nipple cream laying around the house. Yeah, kept it in case of an emergency. You never know when yeah. my nipples will change. 
movie Luckiest Girl Alive begins streaming on Netflix this Friday, October 7th. Our big thanks to Le Jardinier New York, a restaurant the Bast Young Collection, for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full interview with Mila Kunis. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday sit down with the Grammy winning singer and songwriter Brandi Carlisle and an impromptu up close performance from that powerful, unmistakable voice. <laughs> Brandi Carlisle, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get another quick check over the local Sunday weather. Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Clay Anderson. Yes, it's raining across our area, and you're wondering, is everybody else seeing the rain? Yes. Stretch it out across Storm Team 4 radar. Radar shows showers from Hagerstown down to the southeast. There's no heavy rain, but the rain will continue throughout the day today. Take a look at those showers across the region. It will be windy, and then we'll start to see the rain end, but not until Sunday. So everyone stay safe for your Sunday today. Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including picture day for one college sports team turning into a hilarious viral sensation. But up next, Harry Smith in conversation with Professor Henry Louis Gates about the networks that have kept black America together from the revolution forward. We are back in just 30 seconds. Yeah,